Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here for the Cadbury Kick Fit campaign. And I'm joined by uh, Ambassador Jamie Finn. Uh, Jamie, I suppose, um, what's the vibe been like today out there? Uh, I saw you mixing in with a lot of people and stuff like that. It seems to be great crack. Yeah, as you said, it's great crack. Um, it's great to see loads of people coming down, playing football, just really smiling, having fun and yeah, having the crack. How much could you get involved? I know you've had a, mm. a bad injury and everybody kind of ha had a lot of sympathy for you. Uh, how are you getting on and you know how's, how's the knee now? Yeah it's grand, it's progressing every day, every session I'm doing rehab three times a week. Um, slow but I can see progression which is, is great. Obviously when you're in the thick of things you like to see it getting better um, but yeah it's, it's okay. The last I suppose year must be really testing for you. I know we don't really want to go into the whole negative side of things but just from say the World Cup and then the real mm. setback now how are you dealing with that mentally I think you spoke about before at the World Cup you were speaking about kind of facing the head on mm. so how has that been for you? Yeah I think a lot of people have said like if, if I can get through all of this I can get through anything to be honest with you and I think that's the kind of mentality you need to have like it's it's another thing that's that's happened fine you just have to try and do whatever you can just to get over it and I think with me, it's I wanted to get into rehab straight away. I wanted to get started, um, so I'm one step step closer to being on the pitch and yeah, keeping busy and just straight into the rehab. Are you doing a lot of the rehab here uh, or in Birmingham? Yeah, it's um, here at the moment because I got my surgery here, so I'm I'm here back home in the thick of things and um, back home, uh, which is nice to to get to be around family because obviously. When you play professionally, you don't get that time to be at home, so that's a positive side of things. I suppose you you kind of have to lean on them to try to get you through the through the hard times and your partners mm. uh, here as well, your family here too uh, as well. So that must help you kind of get through moments like this, which you know everybody's really rooting for you to mm. get back, and everyone really wants you to kind of kick on considering the year that you've had. Yeah, definitely. As you said, it's it's nice to be at home to lean on family. Um, I think it's so important to. I wanted to be home when I when I gone through this and operation couldn't really do stuff afterwards. So yeah, it's they've been they've been there helping me all the way. Yeah, talk to me then, kind of going forward without looking too far ahead. But what is the kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the kind of date that you're looking to get back for potentially? Yeah, for me, I think um, well, that I, date or maybe month. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put like kind of a date on it. Um, I think. Personally, I just want to go like week by week with this rehab. Um, if I can get back in a certain time, great. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. I need to just take it session session by session and and see where I am. Obviously, it's it's very individualized with the knee. Um, yeah, some things could flare up, some things mightn't. Um, obviously, I've spoken to a lot of the girls that have done their ACL, and like as I said, it's very individualized and in what they've experienced and stuff. Um, but yeah, if I can come back, have game time, and hopefully we're in a Euros. Well, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I suppose someone like Seamus Coleman must give you um, a, a bit of inspiration. Like he'd done his knee um, around this time last year and was back playing uh, captain in Ireland and, and, and everything. Mm. I know he's a male, so to speak, yeah. but you know the fact that he, at his age he was still able. You're still quite young. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. It's and it's obviously good to to see all all. Those experiences, um, obviously with Seamus, he's had a couple of injuries, serious injuries, and he's come back flying. Um, he's been brilliant for Everton and, and Ireland as well. Um, so if I can kind of lean on those people and the people, the, the girls that have done their ACL as well, um, I think they'll help me through as well. You spoke about the Euros. I know you, were, you, you stayed around with the squad and stuff like that for the games. Is that the plan going forward now that maybe for the home is already away games as well, that you'll be in and around the squad, just kind of being there and obviously supporting them? Yeah, like I'd love to be in and around as much as I can. Um, obviously, it's great to stay in the loop of things and, and what we're planning on doing and how we plan how we plan to to play the game against certain opposition. Um, Eileen's been very supportive of me and 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 helping me through this. Um, they've been there, the backroom staff. Everyone has been, yeah, been really helpful and and trying to get me on the right track. It seems from the outside, you can only kind of go from the outside looking in that you're a very popular member of the squad. Don't put you on the spot there and say, oh yeah, I am. But <laughs> it seems to be that you are, like everybody seems to really speak really well about you. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think, like obviously in Tala, um, the whole team. We, Actually, we even the fans as well, you have a huge yeah. kind of following for yourself personally as well as the... Yeah, I think obviously, like, as I said, in, in Tala, that's what we like we pride ourselves. I've said it before. I've gone around and speaking to to everyone that has, yeah, 
gone to the effort of buying tickets and coming to our game and I think we've kind of built that fan base around that um, and yeah just going around and, and giving back to the younger kids boys and girls as well it's been great to see yeah I suppose just on that how important and how nice has it been to see since the, since the World Cup the, the rise of so many girls playing football the rise of programs dedicated to getting girls playing and stuff like that yeah, absolutely. I think the World Cup has been a catalyst to that um, progress, and like you can even see, like the fans we get at the Aviva, it's been been amazing to get what thirty odd thousand people at a game. Um, a couple of years ago, you'd only dream of that, and here we are now. And I think we need to keep pushing on in that, keep keep striving for more. And um, obviously, we've we've been at a World Cup, but we don't want to just be known as the team that got to a World Cup and nothing else. We want to get to Euros, we want to get to more World Cups and really progress this team. Just the, the Aviva experience, what's that like? I always find it, like just even being down, watching some of the training on the pitch, it's just, it, it looks like such an amazing pitch to be, you know, just even at ground level, mm -hmm. but what's it been like being around it with the crowd full and everything like that? Yeah, so it's, yeah it's, it's amazing. Like obviously it's such a such a great stadium, pitch is perfect. Like it's a, it's a great... Um, Play, uh, stadium to play in and I think obviously the game coming up now um, if we can get like what we got the last time even more fans there because um, the atmosphere that it that it builds it's it's yeah brilliant yeah listen Jamie I have someone waiting on you there so listen <laughs> thanks very much for your time and uh, yeah if you like the video give us a subscribe and uh, if you don't follow Jamie already follow her uh, at Jamie Finn or underscore yeah. is it Jamie Finn too on Instagram and there you go so check it out and uh, yeah check her out we'll speak to you soon thanks for watching